Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel That Model Railway Guy and welcome to another quick bonus video. As my review of Hornby's new generic pre-grouping coaches went down so well earlier this week, I thought I'd do another video showing a slightly more detailed look at how you can go about changing the battery for the lights and also how you can access the interior to add passengers too. So you're about to run your train and you place your magnet over the top of the coaches, but one of the sets of lights doesn't turn on. If the battery has run out you'll need to change it, but luckily that's really simple to do. The body can simply be removed from the chassis, but before we do that I'd recommend removing the step boards if you have these fitted, as they are quite delicate and you don't want to damage them. The step boards just plug into little holes on the underside of the coach, so carefully just pull these out one at a time and the step board should come away easily. Now it's time to remove the body from the chassis. The body's just clipped on, so holding the chassis in one hand, use your other hand to just gently pull the body upwards at one end. Although it's quite securely fitted, it doesn't take much pressure before it pops off, so you don't need to be too heavy handed here. Looking at the body and the chassis now that they're separated, you can see how these pieces slot together which will make things much easier when we come to reassemble it later on. It's a good idea to just be aware of these pipes on either end of the chassis, as you don't want to knock them with the body when you're taking it off or putting it back on. With the chassis to one side you can see we have nice easy access to the battery holder on the underside of the body. All you need to do here is use a finger to move the holder out from where it sits underneath the coach. These coaches take the popular CR2032 batteries that are widely available and you can get packs of multiple batteries like this for just 2 or 3 pounds. Hornby do say these batteries will last for 200 hours so unless you're running the coaches with the lights on a lot it's not something you'll be doing all that often. To remove the dead battery just slide it out of the holder and place it to one side. Before you put the new battery in you just want to make sure that the flat side with the text on is facing outwards and the textured side is facing up into the coach. And in the same way that we remove the dead battery just slide the new battery into that holder. As you can see the lights have now come back on in the coach which means the new battery is working. While you have the body off, another bonus step you can do is to add passengers to the interior. Being careful to mind the wires that run from the battery up to the lighting bar on the roof, gently slide the interior moulding out from the main body. You need to keep the body and the interior close together as the wires are obviously still attached, so I find the best way is to have the body stand up at a right angle on the side that the wires join. Now that you can easily get to the seats, it's time to add your passengers. I'm just using some very cheap passenger models here for demonstration, but there's lots of companies out there, including Hornby, who do much better packs of seated passengers. As the battery pack takes up some room underneath the interior, one compartment has a raised floor to accommodate this. While it isn't very noticeable from the outside when the coach is reassembled, it does cause a little bit of a problem for our passengers. One option is to cut the legs off your seated passengers before you put them in place, or another option is to just leave this compartment empty. To reinsert the interior, just bring the body back down over the top, again being careful of the wires. And then to reattach the body, line up the lugs on the chassis to the holes on the body and then just using a light amount of pressure, push them together and you should feel it all click into place. Finally, we'll reattach the step boards, line up the plugs to the holes on the underside of the coach and then just push them into place to secure them. Repeat this exact same process on the opposite side to attach the other step board and now we can get the coach back onto the layout. And there you go, as you can see changing the battery is a really quick and easy job and we even had time to add some passengers too who I'm sure will be very glad that the lights are now working again. If you have any questions feel free to leave me a comment but in the meantime don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notifications for new videos. That's all for now though guys so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!